I spent $7,460 on some old cotton in these three boxes. Let's see what we got. I'm actually gonna start with these two boxes because this is from the same person. It's two lots together, roughly like 30, 3750 on one and then like 3600 on the other one. I have not opened these yet, so I don't know what's in what box. That being said, these are not mystery boxes. I know that there's a ton of Grateful Dead stuff in the one box. And then this stuff is a lot of like wrestling and 80s band tees. Some stuff that I've never had before, some super, super rare stuff. So I'm very, very excited to open these boxes. Also, before I jump into opening these boxes, I just wanted to mention that on October 26th, it's a Thursday, I think it's a Thursday, but October 26th at 6 p.m. Eastern time, we're gonna be going live on an app called Whatnot. It's a live selling app and we're gonna be selling over 200 high-end vintage Grateful Dead t-shirts. All Grateful Dead, crazy graphics, some stuff that we've never sold before on there. There's also gonna be tons of giveaways and it's just gonna be a fun show. So if you wanna to come to that show, I'll put a link in the description of today's video and we'll see you there on the 26th at 6 p.m. Eastern time. All right, here we go. Careful, careful, careful. Ooh, nicely packed, nicely packed. Let's see, let's see. First shirt up, we've got a Twisted Sister. Very nice with that back hit. Smaller one, but it is 1984. This is, this is actually tagged a size large, but definitely like a girl size large, 1984, with that crazy back hit as well. Next up. Looks like we have a Boston shirt, another 80s one. This is probably like 82, 83 if I was to guess. Definitely 80s, maybe even like late 70s on this one. Judas Priest, this is one that we've had many times before. Classic, classic, this is 1984. Judas Priest, Defenders of the Faith Tour. Again, these are smaller because they're 80s, but true vintage, 1984, highly desirable, beautiful fade on that. Nice one. Looks like another Twisted Sister with the back hit as well. I've never had this one, super cool. Definitely 80s as well, cool little back hit there. It's like a switchblade, that's crazy. 1978, it's so rare to find 70s band tees now. 1978, the Moody Blues. Really beautiful graphic on the front, looks like it's in great condition. With the back as well, yeah. All of these smaller sizes, uh, Allie's probably gonna get her first pick. <laughs> so I don't know when they'll be for sale. She's gotta see them first and see if she wants to keep any. Next up, this is a Fates Warning East Coast Tour 1986. Again, front and back and for a 1986 shirt. Actually looks like it's in pretty good size. Size large. Yeah, I would say almost like a true modern size large on that, really nice. Classic Rolling Stones, one we've had many times before. 1981 on that beautiful Haynes tag, size extra large. Another one, we got the His and Hers, Rolling Stones, 1981. This is tagged a size small. So an XL and a small, that's awesome. Dang, that is amazing. All right, that's a cool shirt. You got the Blue Oyster Cult in concert. This looks like a super early 80s piece. I don't see a date on it, but wow. That's a really cool graphic, front and back. We've got another classic 80s piece, 1987, Pink Floyd, American Tour 87. This is the uh, momentary lapse of reason one, right? Yeah, 1987. I think I actually have this shirt in black. Yeah, right here. Pink Floyd, momentary lapse of reason. It has a different back hit, but that's awesome. Nice little add that to the collection, that's nice. Last one in the little box. Clapton, Eric Clapton. Whoa, I didn't see the back on this one. Dang, look at that. Eric Clapton, front and back, slow hand. Jeez, these graphics are insane. All right, next box. Like I said, I knew that there were a lot of 70s and 80s band tees in here, but with this particular lot, what I'm more excited about personally are the wrestling tees because there are some wrestling tees in here that I've, I've never even seen in person. So some pretty rare ones. Looks like the top of the box is gonna be some more band tees. All right. Whoa, Black Sabbath, Mob Rules. I've never seen this back hit before. Dang. Live US tour. Wow. What a crazy graphic. Cool color on the raglan too. Nice fade on it. That is 
a gorgeous shirt. Next up, size medium, we have an ACDC Highway to Hell. Oh my gosh. See, this is what I'm saying. Like some of these graphics are just insane. Front graphic, back graphic. Look at that back, wow. Is this another Black Sabbath? It is. Black Sabbath, 1980. 1980 Black Sabbath with the back hit. Looks like it's Jim Castle. It says, I think that says 1980. It might be 1983, but either way, wild, wild graphic. We've got a vintage Kiss piece. This is 1979, 1979 Kiss. Wow. Some of these are like museum pieces in my opinion. Look at that, dated 1979. We got another Kiss piece. Who's that? Gene Simmons, there you go. Just a nice front hit Gene Simmons shirt. And then also the solo Ace Freely as well. So you got Gene and Ace. Might as well look at this Kiss piece as well on the 90s Fruit of the Loom tag. What do we got? Oh, it's a long sleeve. 96, 97 Kiss World Tour front and back. Good long sleeve. Oh my gosh. Allie's gonna freak out. Look at this queen shirt. Whoa. Queen with the band on the back. This looks 70s. Yeah, 1978. Are you kidding me? Oh man. I'm gonna actually have to charge Allie some money for this shirt. <laughs> this is a crazy, crazy queen shirt. I'll set that aside for her. All right, we've got a Judas Priest. Oh, with an Iron Maiden back hit. Okay, damn. The Judas Priest front hits with the crazy Eddie Iron Maiden back hit. Another ACDC raglan, flick of the switch, switch world tour front and back. Looks like a good size on this one. It is tagged a size large. Tagged a size large and looks like a good true size large. Next up we have a Triumph raglan. Looks like another good size. This is a size large as well. Triumph front and back. I love that these old raglans usually have the front and the back graphic. Oh, wow. Okay, I just wanna show this box really quick. Look at the inside of this box. Look at what's coming up, guys. Oh my gosh. So I think I'm just gonna show it straight away. There's a WrestleMania shirt in here and I think I picked it out. I think it's right there. I have to grab this because I've been waiting to see if it is on a Delta tag. It should be a cut. Delta tag because it is a bootleg WrestleMania shirt, but I'm talking about, I've only ever seen one other person with this shirt. All right, oh, I'm nervous. Here's the moment of truth. The other thing is the size. If it's a size extra large, that's what we want. All right, oh, here it is. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, XL. Cut tag, Delta. <laughs> Let's go. This will probably be the one and only time that I ever have my hands on this shirt. This is absolutely insane. 1998, WrestleMania. You got Michaels, Tyson, and Stone Cold on the front. And then Undertaker, Shamrock, Animal, Hawk, Rocky, Kane. Oh, this thing's crazy. Oh my gosh. This makes the whole box for me. I feel like, uh, oh, I'm shaking. This is nuts. <laughs> Seriously, this might be like, this might be the craziest shirt that I've ever bought, actually. <laughs> this is insane. That's the front, that's the back. Wow. All right, that was a good video. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm gonna set this one aside. Damn, 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 damn. Well, it's nice to know that that one's good because that means the rest of them should be in that same kind of condition and shape. So let's keep going through this box. I'm gonna pull out a stack right here. We've got an Iron Maiden Raglan. That's one that I know very well. I've had this shirt a few times. The Beast on the Run, 1983 Iron Maiden. The Kinks, you actually don't see the Kinks stuff very often. Give the people what they want. Kinks, 1982. Look at the back of that. My goodness. Little basic sticks. Shirt, this is probably, probably late 70s, I would say. Maybe like 1978 sticks. Oh, ooh, another crazy Black Sabbath. This is the Born Again one with that like devil baby on the front. Oh, it's got the back hit on it as well. Oh, with Quiet Riot too, 1983. I was not expecting that. Front with the Quiet Riot hit on the back too. This is a crazy lot. <laughs> what do we got? Cheap Trick. Just a beautiful graphic. Cheap trick, front and back. 
Does this have a year on it? Uh, don't see, oh, right there, 1980, 1980. This thing is 43 years old. That's crazy. Another Judas Priest, does this have the back hit on? Wow, with the back hit too. Judas Priest, Iron Maiden, I got a double of this one. I'll take it. All right, another stack. Looks like we got some wrestling here. Let's see. Oh, no, that's not wrestling. New York Yankees, little New York Yankees shirt. This is 1996. Ooh, we got a Holyfield shirt. Holyfield, oh, with the back hit as well. Beautiful, 1992. This one feels a little dry roddy. Let me give it a test. Little dry roddy. This is how I test for dry rot, by the way, if anybody was wondering. You go under the bottom hem, separate the fabric at the bottom right there, and then kind of just pinch it between your nails and give it a pull. And if it rips, which this did not rip, let's try here. Ah, uh, it did rip there though. You can see it is a little bit dry rot, unfortunately. Sad days. I'll set that one aside. Well, that makes me nervous on this one. I'm on it. I might need to check this, uh, WrestleMania for dry rot too. Oh no, no dry rot at all. <laughs> all right, another wrestling shirt. We got a rock, little, little rock, Dwayne the Rock Johnson, future president of the United States. We've got the Taz front and back. It's a newer one. All right, let's grab another stack. Let's see what we got. Some Metallica up next. This I believe is the Metallica Guns N' Roses one. Yep, Guns N' Roses Metallica. 1992 with the Faith No More back hits with special guest Faith No More. Very cool. Another Metallica on the size large tag. Dang, 96, 97 with the Corn special guest on the back. This thing's in perfect condition. Size large. Look at that back hit. Size XL on the giant tag. So here's one that I've actually never had before. Metallica Club shirt. 1995. So this is a Metallica Club loyal member, 1995. On the licensed giant tag with that pretty crazy back hit. Another beautiful Metallica piece, 1991, front and back. This is on that classic Metallica tag as well. Super Bowl XV, 15, yeah? The Eagles and the Raiders. Small shirt, but that's pretty wild. Super Bowl 15, 1981. Louisiana Superdome, New Orleans, 1981 the Eagles and the Raiders. We've got a little random Batman Cancun, Mexico vintage shirt, okay. And then Logo Athletic Subway Series 2000. That is a New York Yankees shirt. Here's another little Yankees piece. Nice one. What year are you? American League Champions, 1996. Another stack, let's go. What do we got? Jethro Toll. Jethro Toll, 70s? 78, 1978, Jethro Tull on tour. We've got a, wow, that's an old Metallica. Oh my gosh, that is insane. What tag is that on? On the sportswear tag, is this 80s? What's it say? It says 1990. Okay, 1990. Man, that felt older than that, but still really cool. Front and back Metallica piece. Another Metallica Toltex tag. Oh, the boys are back, 1995, with the TV graphic. Look at that. The band in the TV, <laughs> that is really cool. We've got a metalhead. What is this one? Oh, another Metallica club shirt, 1999, on the giant tag. This one feels a slightly dry rot as well. Let's see. No, no dry rot. All right, cool, good. They must have been washed just in time. Another Metallica club shirt on the giant XL tag. Front and back, 1997. Uh, like I said, I've never had Metallica club shirt, so that's pretty, that's pretty cool to see. We'll give it a dry rot test. Any 90s black t-shirt, I always dry rot. Even if they're like faded out and stuff, I always like to just give it a bit of a tug to make sure they're good to go. Another one, what do we got here? Is this another Metallica? Tattoo the Earth. Oh, this is a festival. 2000 Metallica Slipknot Slayer Seven Dots Sepultura. This is a uh, intense. This is a intense festival. Tattoo the Earth, front and back. Nice graphics. And then another Metallica Club shirt. This is on the Metallica tag as well. 
front and back 1994 and again let's give it a little dry rot test let's see here oh that one ripped sad days sad days he said he dry rot tested everything i don't want to rip it too much but it is ripping no that's okay i'll set that one aside too i hate when stuff's dry rot but i know this person well i've bought from them before and I know if I just like shoot them a message, they'll ship me a refund, so no biggie. All right, we got what? Looks like like 20 more tees. <laughs> Let's see what we got. All right, another crazy wrestling shirt. This one is licensed, size extra large. Let's see. King of the Ring, Off With Their Heads, 1998, front and back. My goodness, that's crazy. Single stitch, dry rot test, we're good. That's the license tag that you want, by the way. Come get some. Just a nice WF Attitude shirt. This one's funny, the Mr. Ass. <laughs> I, think, I think this is 1998, but <laughs> Mr. Ass, four words, check out my ass. All right, here's another crazy one that I was really excited to get as well. What size are you? Size extra large. Wow, we've got the Royal Rumble. This is 1999 with the back hits, stone cold on the front, no chance in hell with those crazy red eyes. Look at the eyes. And this is like puff paint, like WF puff paint there. This is a crazy shirt. We have another Kiss T size extra large. 2003 Kiss and Aerosmith, another WF shirt, size medium. Hotel and Casino Las Vegas, just a basic little one. This looks like, is this gonna be another Rock shirt? Yes, The Rock, Philadelphia. The Rock has come back to Philadelphia, that's pretty sweet. Another good tag, it is a size small, unfortunately, but, Jeez, look at that big face, Shawn Michaels. That is crazy, 1997. And actually for a size small, that's not too bad. Looks like it would fit more like a medium. Oh, look at this one. Size extra large on the WF tag. Oh my goodness, this is a King of the Ring shirt. Oh, look at that. Look at that, that is insane. What year, 2000, 2000 King of the Ring. Jeez, The Rock's on there, Kane's on there. This is crazy. Look at that, you had The Rock and The Undertaker and Kane versus Triple H, Vince McMahon and Shane McMahon. Size extra large, that's what we wanna see. The No Mercy 2000. See the front of this thing. Whew. Oh wow, you got Stone Cold on the front. Oh my gosh, that's insane. Another wrestling shirt, the Savvy. This looks like a Stone Cold tee. Yes, the Texas Rattlesnake, front and back, beautiful condition, dated 1999 on this one. This is crazy because like the whole shirt has this, um, it's almost like snake scale graphic, you know? Like on the entire shirt, it's textured. Another Stone Cold versus The Rock. WrestleMania 2001, Stone Cold versus The Rock. And some of these I might have to keep, honestly. I might have to just like stash them away for a little bit and let them, let them sit in my collection because these are too good. Stone Cold versus The Rock. Size large. The Y2J front and back. I think we just sold this shirt, didn't we? Recently? Remember this one? Oh, yeah. Yeah. All right, we're out of wrestling for a little bit here. Size large. Looks like we have a Boot Hill Saloon, Daytona Beach. Wow, what a graphic on the back. Look at that. Beautiful graphic, 1995, dry rot test, good to go. What is this one? What? I don't think I remember seeing this one in there. Size medium, the Aliens Terror from Mars, 1993. Oh, this is like an alley size shirt. You got Marvin the Martian on the front. Oh, look at the back. Whoa, this was not in there. He must've just thrown this one in for free. The Alien Terror from Mars. Okay, well that kind of makes up for the dry rot shirt. Damn, that's crazy. We got a little New Orleans starter football shirt. Oh, is this a SummerSlam? This is the other one. <laughs> what size are you? Size extra large. Oh my gosh, dude. Highway to hell, stone cold with the Undertaker on the front and that SummerSlam back graphic. This would be another parking lot bootleg shirt. 
Oh my God, dude, this one actually might be just as good as the other one. Dry rot test, no dry rot. Damn, look at that, 1998, Highway to Hell with Stone Cold and The Undertaker just going crazy on the back, jeez. We have another uh, Dwayne The Rock Johnson coming back to Providence. On the Changes XL, is this a Metallica shirt on a Changes tag? I don't think I've ever seen that before. Metallica Tattoos the Earth Tour 2000, front and back. I'm assuming this is a parking lot shirt because I've never seen, I don't think I've ever seen uh, Banties on a Changes tag. No dry rot, super nice. On the Giant tag, another Metallica. This is another Metallica Club shirt, 1996, front and back. Let me dry rot test because that other Metallica was dry rot, Club one. This one's good, this one's good. Another shirt that we sold recently, Concert for Walden Woods, Aerosmith, Sting, Elton John, Jimmy Buffett, RIP Jimmy Buffett. All right, three more shirts from this steel. We've got a ACDC ball breaker. I think this is 96. Yep, 1996 ACDC ball breaker. Live, front, and back. Good condition. Van Halen, we have a Van Halen tour, 1998. This would be another parking lot bootleg shirt. So when I say, for those of you who are watching who are not aware of what a parking lot shirt is, when I say that, it just means that it, was a, it wasn't sold in the actual event itself. It was someone just printing these themselves in the parking lot. And a lot of the time, they're worth more money because less of them were made. So just because it's a bootleg or a parking lot shirt doesn't mean that it's not legit from the year. So this was made in 1998. It just means that it wasn't licensed by the band. And then the last one in here on a Broadway tag, we have... Uh, Obama, little Obama, yes we can shirt, little glittery one. So <laughs> that was that was just the first lot. I still have a whole another box of uh, I think there's like 85 shirts in this next box from Thailand. So let's keep going. We're halfway through the video. <sighs> next box. This should be a lot of Grateful Dead and Banty. So if you're not into that stuff, you can leave the video now. <laughs> but if you are, stick around because. Some good stuff in here. All right, I think what I'm gonna do is just empty this box out onto the table and then it'll just be easier for me to go through that way, so. Really nicely folded. I know the person who I bought this from watches our videos, so I appreciate the care taken with shipping. This one fell on the ground, so I might as well show it. Size extra large on the anvil tag, classic. Lithuania, Grateful Dead, 1992. This is a Grail Grateful Dead shirt for a lot of people. It is beautiful in great condition. So this one will definitely go into our Grateful Dead show on the 26th at 6 p.m. Eastern time. So if you want this shirt, come to that Grateful Dead show. Let me pile these up like this, and then I can go through them easier. Here we go. We have, is that Chicago? Chicago, Grateful Dead Chicago. 1992, good size, cool graphic. This is a very classic Grateful Dead. This is the 19, I think 95 one. I have this in my collection as well. Smaller size looks like on this one, maybe like a size large or medium, still nice. 1985 graphic on this one, little thrashed, but front and back, beautiful. Another one I've had a few times, 1984. I believe this is a Griffin graphic. Big size on that too. And another one I've seen many times, Further Festival, front and back. The back of this one's really cool. I believe this is 1997, Further Festival. 1999, Grateful Dead, my favorite tag in the world, that Fruit of the Loom, size extra large. You've got the wizard. Look at that singular stitching. Look how singular that stitch is. Flat. <laughs> Little Roosevelt University, 1995. Whoa, that's crazy. Like the Griffin eyeball tie-dye. This is 1990. Wow, I might actually keep that one if it fits me. That's really cool. Classic Jerry Garcia, size extra large. This is the estate one, 1995. We've got a Fruit of the Loom best tag. Little Chevy, little Chevy shirt. Are those Bel Airs? What is that? Chevy born to be different. 55, 56, 57. Oh my gosh, it's a Pigasso shirt. <laughs> Have you seen these before? It's Picasso, but it's Pigasso. 
<laughs> Pig also graphic. Look at the tag. <laughs> I love puns. I do too. This is actually a pretty cool shirt too. Pig also. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> it's even signed with the little pig. Speaking of pigs, Nike. What size? Looks like, oh, it looks like a good XL. You got the Porky the Pig Nike shirt. Just do it. This is 1993, and that is an official Nike shirt. They actually made these. We got another wizard, little wizard smoking the hookah on the front, front and back. Got a Tennessee River Gold piece, little piece front hint, no back. Ooh, look at this wizard tee, size large Delta tag. Whoa, what is happening? It's like a wizard smoking a pipe in a boat with a peacock, <laughs> and it's got a back hit too. That is. That is a crazy graphic. Grateful Dead 2009. 2009 Grateful Dead long sleeve. All right, I gotta look at this shirt because I love Grave Digger. Oh, it's on the liquid blue tag. Let's go. 90s white liquid blue tag. And it's a long sleeve. Grave Digger race team, front and back on the liquid blue tag. Crazy. Man, my job is, uh, my job is tough. Get a look at all these cool shirts all day. We got a lost. Lost front and back, little skate tee. That's cool. 1983 United Harvest Unlimited. Another good 90s XL Fruit of the Loom tag. You've got the Rainforest, Save the Rainforest shirt. Little Jerry Garcia, front and back with the hand middle finger missing on the back. Another cool Grateful Dead. The graphic on this is beautiful, actually. Little, little cabin in the background there. And then this is not Grateful Dead, but esque Robert Crumb. Oh my God, it says Cheryl on the back. That's cute. <laughs> Robert Crumb just passing through 1967. We got another Bertha. This is single stitch. Wow, beautiful, beautiful graphic. Dated 1995. Another one of those graphics. Oh, and another one of those graphics. I guess there's three of those. Size XL, what is happening there? Why are there so many eyeballs and Converse shoes? What is that? It's like a Rasta tie-dye too. We've got a Tennessee River Gold, the dark side of the sun, little Jerry Garcia Winterland tag. Beautiful one. I actually just sold this shirt recently. I love that back hit. Kind of reminds me of um, Cherry Garcia, like Ben and Jerry's font. Oh, and it's dry rot. Yay. No. Just kidding. That sucks. Whoa, James Bond. 1987 James Bond shirt. Interesting random James Bond tee, okay. And this looks like it's just like a 70s shirt. I don't see a maker at all, but pretty cool uh, colors. Size XL, beautiful tie-dye on that. Wow, crazy tie-dye job on this one. Here's a classic Grateful Dead. This is like the Evolution one, I think. 1993, yeah, front and back. What a long, strange trip it's been. True 1993. A vintage Billabong shirt? Okay. A little old school single stitch Billabong Australia shirt. I don't even think they're around anymore, right? Billabong? 1993 Billabong. I die. Whoa. What is happening? That is a crazy basketball shirt. I don't know if this is a Grateful Dead shirt. I don't think it is, but you got the shatter backboard. Oh, it's, it is Greg Spears though. It is, that's the same guy that did a lot of the work, a lot of the artwork for Grateful Dead. Yo, that's crazy. Sundog, the dead, long sleeve, front and back. Oh, this is a Pusshead Zorlax skateboards. Whoa, interesting. Never seen this before. It is a Pusshead graphic. It's the like the Metallica graphics, Zorlax skateboards. Skate tees are pretty expensive, so this might be a rare one. Giant tag, we've got the Fish, 1994. Got a another Grateful Dead, built to last. 1990, oh, it's Madonna. 1990 Madonna shirt. This looks like a Cleveland Indians. Is this a Grateful Dead shirt though? Indian summer, 1995. It is, Grateful Dead, Cleveland Indians, 1995. We've got a Jackson Brown with that like Escher-esque artwork in the back. I don't know if it is actually Escher. It's really cool though. We've got a, whoa, that's cool. <laughs> that's awesome. Gray tag, liquid blue, Grateful Dead, probably like 2004 on that. Another gray tag, liquid blue, long sleeve, tie dye. We've got the Jerry Garcia. This one is 90s, Jerry Garcia Christmas. What is that? Catching the wave. 
Whoa, that's so good. It's another Greg Spears. Dude, shout out Greg Spears. His artwork is some of my favorite. I think this is a, a Further Festival shirt. Yes, Further Festival. Jerry up at the top, 1998. Classic white tag, liquid blue, size extra large. Spring tour, Grateful Dead. Another Chevy Carty. We've got, is that Rey Mysterio? Add this to the wrestling collection. It is Rey Mysterio 2004. It's a good one, good size. We've got a Colorado Dead. Yes, Colorado, spent a little time on the mountain. Another Further Festival. I have not seen this Further Festival graphic before. 1996 with the frog on the front. Oh, and the back too. Very cool. Oh, and I mean, probably the most expensive Grateful Dead shirt in here. On the XL liquid blue tag, this is the Grateful Dead Escher. There's three different variations of this shirt. This is the rarest one, in my opinion. 1993, it looks like it's in great condition and a very, very nice size. I'll probably throw this one in the show on the 26th as well. So if you're looking for very rare Grateful Dead tees, come to that show. Not Fade Away Graphics, Jimi Hendrix with that crazy eye back hit. Beautiful colors. We've got the gray tag Terrapin Turtles. We've got the classic 90s Spiral Bear. This is a Keep On Shining. Help give the child, oh, this is um, like a Shiners. Shiners, keep on shining shirt. Another eye dye. Oh my gosh, so sick. Like mountain biking skeletons. Another Greg Spears, let's go, Greg. <laughs> We've got a No Fear. No Fear is pretty hot right now, actually. Little old school No Fear shirt. Corn on the 90s marina tag. Big corn front hit. And follow the leader, back hits, great condition. Spruce tag, wow. Keep on streaking. This is crazy, dude, what? What is this? I think that's probably like late 60s, early 70s. Look at this, Callie. Keep on streaking. Wow. <laughs> that's awesome. Another 80s piece, fronts, 1980, 1980 on this one. MTB, it almost looks like a, the corn follow the leader shirt, but it says MTB, mountain bike. Oh, it's Fox. There's a little Fox graphic right there. Size XL on the Warrior. There's another good added to the wrestling collection shirt. That's crazy. It is single stitch and no dry rot. Jester Tees, another crazy graphic. This looks like another Jimi Hendrix shirt. Yep, Jimi Hendrix front and back. All right, just a few left. Hang in there with me. Hit the thumbs up button on the video if you haven't yet and subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet because Believe it or not, we buy stuff like this all the time. So <laughs> look at this, Taz. Whoa, the Taz smiley breakthrough. Have a nice day, 1995. <laughs> that's, a, that's a cool shirt. All right, let's look at this one, Little Bertha. Oh, that's so cool. That is so crazy. Oh my gosh, I know someone who's probably gonna want this shirt. That is wild, wild. This is the back, that's the back. That's the front. Another classic Grateful Dead, 1995 New York City. This one has a crazy, crazy fade to it, but the graphic is still there. You can see it, New York City. Um, this has the, the Radio City hit in the back right there. Tie-dye, bootleg, Grateful Dead, one I've had many times before. This is the summer tour, 1995. This one looks like it's in dead stock condition. These things are usually really, really faded, and this one is not faded at all. Look at the back graphic. Beautiful. Another classic Spiral Bears. We've got the size large. Oh, this is so cool. I love this shirt. This is one of my favorite Grateful Dead shirts, actually. The moon with the bears cooking the, um, the marshmallows around the fire. Fronts with the fishies on the back. We've got a insane troll. <laughs> crazy, crazy troll tie-dye. We've got a, I think this is 2000. I'll have to check, but Las Vegas. Um, actually, this might be 96. Let me check. Oh, this is a Peter Forth's graphic, 1995. 1995, shout out Peter Forth as well. He still makes Grateful Dead shirts. Really cool guy. Talked to him on Instagram a few times. Beautiful artwork. Another wizardly wizard. Damn, that's cool. Front and back with like the dragon shatter eyeball in the back. Gray tag, long sleeve. Rare to find a long sleeve version of this shirt. Size large, little tie dye. Just like a, I don't know what that is, but 
it's kind of creepy. Screen stars tag, long sleeve. This is like a good Halloween shirt. It's like a Black Widow. Oh, it's Alchemy. Alchemy Gothic, front and back. Another jam band, Bears. Wow. Jerry Garcia, 1995 memorial piece. Beautiful, crazy with the, uh, the Blues for Allah back hit. Look at that front graphic. Wow, this is a nice one. 1995 Jerry Garcia Memorial shirt with that back hit as well. And then a Santana shirt, random Santana shirt. I think this one's 80s, maybe 1990, but I believe it's 80. Crazy, trippy, I love these shirts. This is on the Andesia tag too. It's the same tag that like the MC Escher shirts are on. Crazy, insane. <laughs> Trip people out when you wear the shirt. Two left, we've got the, oh, the Jeff Hardy. <laughs> That's pretty crazy. Added to the, uh, the wrestling. And then the last one in here, this looks 80s as well. 1980, crazy front graphic, no back, beautiful tie dye. There we go, guys and girls. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Please hit the thumbs up button. Please come to the Grateful Dead show on the 26th. I'll have all these shirts and like 150 more available at that show. Thank you so much for watching. It means a lot to me. Uh, feel free to leave a comment and I'll see you in the next one. Later guys, bye. Now what am I gonna do with all these shirts? <laughs> I guess I gotta sell them all. Oh my.